Hello, it's Manipulation Tutor here, and today we are going to be making this kind of icon slash logo. So in order to do that, we need to do make a new canvas. We're going to make that canvas 3000 by 3000. Make the resolution 300 pixels per inch. Press OK. I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. OK, so first we are going to need to come down and make sure rulers is checked. Right now it's not, so we have to come to view rulers. And then we click the top ruler and drag it down until it'll snap in the middle right there. And then come over and drag this one over until it snaps in the middle. Now we're going to get our ellipse tool. You're going to want to line up your crosshairs with the rulers you just made. Click and then uh -huh. press shift uh -huh. and alt so that it makes a perfect circle directly in the middle. Sorry about that. You have to make sure you let go of your uh, mouse button before you let go of the shift and alt. Then you kind of come over to stroke and press no stroke and fill with whatever color you're going to use. I'm going to use, um, let me use this yellow. Okay, now that you have made the yellow circle, we are going to duplicate with the control J. <clears throat> and now we want to change the fill for that to just plain white. And I have no clue why my screen is flickering. Huh. <clears throat> now you want to rasterize the layer, get your selection tool, the elliptical marquee, start in the middle, click and drag it out a little bit, press shift and then alt and drag it until you get just a thin line, not too thin, not too thick and then press backspace then deselect with control D make a new layer actually I believe the eclipse tool automatically makes a new layer so now we're gonna make one more eclipse and then press shift alt and right about there make sure there's no stroke and the fill is white okay now we are going to want to add a layer style to these. You want to go to inner shadow, blend mode at normal, the color at E8, 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 opacity 100, angle 120, use global light, distance of 21, choke of 0, size of 21, normal contour, uncheck anti-aliased, zero noise. Check gradient overlay, blend mode normal, uncheck dither, 100% opacity, gradient of C6, C6, C6 to E7, 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 and it's just a solid uncheck reverse style linear align with layer 90 degree angle 100% scale in a drop shadow with multiply uh, black is the color opacity of 75% an angle of 120 Use global light, distance of 21, spread of 0, size of 83, contour is normal, uncheck anti-aliased, and zero noise, and press OK. Now you right click and copy layer style, click on, click on the ellipse, right click, press paste layer style, and now go make a new layer, drag it all the way to the bottom, 
and you want your foreground color to be just about white, maybe a little bit more. I have F6, F6, F6. And your background color is a little bit darker. It, I have DC, DC, DC. And then click in the middle, well, make a, your gradient radial first. Click in the middle, drag it out, it'll snap to your ruler so you don't need to press shift and there's your background. Now we are going to make a new layer on top of everything <clears throat> and this is where we're going to add text. So click and make your first letter make it sure your color is black make the size down quite a bit and find a font that you want to use size it down and you want parts of it to go outside of the circle of this middle circle so I'm gonna raise it up until it kind of goes out just like that not too much it's just a little and now we're going to click out and click back on the layer and make a new text layer and make your second letter. I'm using the first, the initials of my name, manipulator or manipulation tutor, and bring the T down so it goes out just a little bit. And uh, we're not going to have that skull in here this time. You can just add any picture as long as it's all completely black and white because what you're going to do is you're going to select the black and paste it into a mask so you want you want to click on your eclipse push the mask button then push control and click on your first text and then shift f5 and black then press control and click on the T for the next text. Press shift F5 and black. And then you can make these layers invisible and deselect. Now if you want to, you can come to this ellipse. This is an optional step. Get your brush out. You want to rasterize that eclipse. Uh, <clears throat> press alt and right click so you can make your brush soft and uh, change your size to about that. So I have a diameter of 915, a hardness of zero, and an opacity of 100. If you can't do that without you, I don't think you need uh, CS6 in order to do that. So you can just come up here and change your brush properties. Uh, make your foreground color, the color that your uh, sphere is, but really light. And then just do that and change the opacity just a little bit down. And that's just going to add a little bit of a reflection. You can blur it. I'm not going to blur it too much, just to kind of spread it out. And that was going to add a reflection. And there we have the finished logo. You can clear your guides. And uh, that is all for this tutorial. Uh, like the video. Uh, comment on it, rate, subscribe to my channel, and thank you.